I prepare all the walls by fixing all the unevenness also close to the window frames and baseboards and then sanding it all smooth so that I have a nice smooth and even surface before applying X-Skin. For outward corners, first I apply over the corner a plastic profile. Then I glue the X-Skin on the edges of the profile and then I paint the profile still visible in the colour of X-Skin. The precautions I take to cut X-Skin to the right size are to use a large table on which I can roll out X-Skin and mark off the correct height measurement plus 10 centimeters. I cut or trim the strip and make a mark at the top of the X-Skin so that all the strips meet the wall in the same direction. I apply the glue to the wall with a synthetic fibre roller. It's important to distribute the glue properly and to apply it slightly wider than the strip. For highly absorbent surfaces, I normally thin the glue and then pre-glue before applying egg skin. My preference is to remove the foil from egg skin beforehand because I find that I can see what I'm doing better that way. But it's also possible to remove the foil after the application. My preference would be to apply egg skin hanging top to bottom against the wall. In this case, it's nice if you have help to keep the strip away from the wall. Make sure that you stick the strip in the right direction, i.e. with your markings upwards. Afterwards, remove all air under X-Skin with the spatula. For flat walls, my preference is to glue X-Skin touching, so to speak. That means one strip against the other. I mark the strips on the wall in advance, then at the seams, I paint the wall in the colour of X-Skin. Be particularly careful not to stick one X-Skin strip on top of the other. For inward corners, I apply X-Skin a few millimetres over the corner, then I overlap the next strip on top of the first, creating a nice closed corner. Should it happen with application that glue gets on the surface of egg skin, it is easily removed with a wet fiber cloth.
To be able to apply X Kin, I prepared the wall by removing any lumps, applying a primer, and painting where the joints of X Kin will be. I cut egg skin with scissors, leaving 8 to 10 centimeters, and then trimmed it with the cutter once applied to the wall. I prepared the powder glue with water in the required quantities and added a hardener to give the glue consistency. I applied the glue with a brush to both the wall and the back of x -Kin. I passed a plastic spatula from top to bottom to remove any bubbles there may be. I applied x -Kin on curved walls with the same procedure I used for flat walls. Making small cuts with a pair of scissors on the top and bottom of the strip to ensure greater adherence before cutting the excess of the material with a cutter. I applied x -Kin with the foil and then removed about 20 centimeters of the foil from the top. Then I removed the remaining foil and trimmed the excess material at the bottom. I applied X Kin as close as possible to the joints and passed a roller to ensure better adherence of the material to the wall. I removed glue residues with a cloth dampened with water. Then I wiped it with a dry cloth. 